Hey, what's up, y'all? Let's talk about installing my sling on a rifle. I'm gonna put it on this uh, BCM AR-15 right now. Uh, you'll notice, um, first of all, you kind of lay out front and rear. The main slider buckle is on the front. Your front 550 loop is just a little bit longer than the rear. The rear is back here with this track light adjustment. Let's put the rear on first. You'll notice both loops have this little piece of vinyl tubing that's to kind of lock the webbing or the uh, loop in place once you get it all cinched down to help us put it through the hole in this BCM stock um, you know, on the back end uh, you got a variety of places on the on the back end of a um, an M4 type or collapsible stock to, to route the thing through I'm going to go through that hole like sewish let's get to where I can see it cool so choking that uh, vinyl tubing down on there allow me to kind of push that through there a little bit easier now I'm going to make a kind of a noose here and pull the whole sling through this hole. Pull it all through there. So it kind of cinches down like sewish. Now this is where that vinyl tubing, sewish is a term, by the way, it's a technical term. Okay. Now we're going to use that vinyl tubing to come all the way back there and that's going to lock it right where we want it to be. Okay. Front. So, see I've got a flashlight on here with my light mount, what's up? Um, what we can do if you've got front sights on there, lasers, anything like that, um, make yourself another noose like so, pull the sling back through it like so-ish, remember that's a term. Uh, now you can expand this out to go over what other kind of garbage you got on the front of your gun. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm a right handed dude, so I want this thing to come out on the left side there. Go over the muzzle, gun is unloaded, okay. Um, go over the muzzle, dress it back down where you want it. Um, recommend attaching to the long ends of the gun. You see where I put it back here on the rear of the stock, kind of all the way back there towards the back there. On the front, go as far forward as you can without it interfering with any of your stuff. I can either come behind this flashlight or probably I would prefer going up in front of the flashlight. And you can kind of see how the um, 550 cord will go and dress down nicely inside one Picatinny slot. All right, now I'm kind of closing up my noose with that piece of vinyl tubing there. Cinch it all the way down like so on itself. And then, like so-ish, remember, that's a technical term, lock that thing in place. Now, this is really... On the rear, the vinyl tubing really doesn't play a big role. On the front, it kind of does. If you cinch it down like that, it'll stay right where you put it, and that noose won't open up. Dig? All right, that's how we install it. Uh, here a little bit later on, we'll go over kind of setting it up to fit you and then making the uh, quick adjustments. That's what I got. Thanks, y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? I hope you were digging the video that you were just watching there. And if you'd like that and you'd like to know more, I recommend you go to my website, frankproctorshooting.com, and subscribe to FPTV. There you're going to find hours of detailed information on training and gear to help you shoot fast, accurate, and easy. While you're on the website, check out my training schedule. Come out and train with me. Um, also, take a look at the products I offer. See if they'll help you shoot. Speaking of shooting, time for me to get back to training.